and ta-da! This is our, uh, I don't know, cooked sushi-ish type of spam wasubi. I don't really know what to call this thing. In this video, we're gonna be making four unique spam musubi recipes. Or do you say spam musubi? How do you say it? I'll say both. All of these musubi recipes that I'm about to do are definitely not the traditional spam musubis or Japanese musubis that you may be used to seeing. We're gonna have some fun and change things up a bit. Welcome back to Janelle Eats, where you get to taste the flavors of the world in your kitchen. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the delicious weekly recipes that I'm whipping up on this channel. And hit the bell too so that you get every notification. Oh, and if you want more creative recipes like what we're about to do to these spam musubis, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up our Spam and then we're just gonna fry all of them. So we're gonna be using the same fried piece of Spam for all four of these recipes. So I'll be using this 25% less sodium Spam can, but you can totally use the original one or you can play around with the other flavors that they have like garlic, tocino, I think there might be like a hickory smoked one. So just open it up and then plop it on. Squish the sides, there you go. Then I'm just gonna slice this. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how many slices I get from this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I ended up slicing them into seven pieces. They are thicker, so you'll get a lot more spam in your musubis. We're just gonna add a little bit of oil so that when you're cooking the spam, it fries up and gets a little bit crispy. Okay, let's see if we can fit all the spam in here. Oh. So Spam is actually already safe to eat straight out of the can, but what I'm doing here is I want to toast the outsides a little bit because I like to have a crispy outside and then a soft inside. So it's totally up to you how long you want to cook this for. Ooh, so do you see how like it turns into this deeper toasted brown color? This is the color that I like to have on my Spam. So once I got both sides looking like this, I'm gonna turn off the flame and then transfer the Spam on a paper towel lined plate. Ta-da! Okay, now we're gonna assemble the four different Spam Musubi flavors. So the first Spam Musubi recipe is inspired by a Filipino breakfast, which I love. I grew up eating this. So it's Spam with a side of garlic fried rice and maybe a slice of tomato or maybe a slice of cucumber. So I'm gonna turn a Filipino breakfast into a portable Spam Musubi. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same pan that we used to fry the Spam up, maybe take out a little bit of oil, and then I'm gonna start sauteing about eight cloves of garlic. With Filipino garlic fried rice, we just use a ton of garlic, and that's really all that flavors the rice, plus maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna use my garlic crusher so that I can mince these into little pieces so that it can integrate well into the rice so we won't have a hard time pressing it into a musubi mold. So saute the garlic a little bit on low heat, and then we're gonna add some rice. Okay, I think I'll only need like one cup of cooked rice to the eight cloves of garlic. That'll make it super garlicky. Even though the Spam is salty, I'm still gonna add just a teeny pinch of salt and then top it off with a little bit of black pepper. Even just a little bit of salt can actually make a huge difference in the flavor of your garlic fried rice. Okay, that's it. This is our garlic fried rice. So I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for this to cool down and then we can start putting the Spam Musubi together. Mmm, the smell of garlic fried rice reminds me of when I'll come home and I stay the night. My dad, he always makes garlic fried rice with like longanisa or tocino or tapa or maybe Spam for breakfast. So for the bacon, I'm not gonna make it super toasted like how I usually like my bacon because it'll be kind of hard to wrap it around the musubi. I think I'm gonna use the same pan that I used to fry up the Spam and fry up my garlic fried rice because I don't wanna do extra dishes. So for the bacon, I'm only gonna cook like two slices and then maybe I'll cook another two just for my extra snack later. So yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Just make sure your bacon is actually cooked. That's really all we need. It smells so good in here. You got the Spam, the garlic fried rice, the bacon. I'm like torturing myself. Okay, 
Okay, so that should be good enough. So transfer the bacon onto a paper towel lined plate so that you can drain the excess oil. Okay, so for my eggs, I could use the same pan, but I don't want to risk breaking the yolk. Uh, so I'm going to go for this super non-sticky pan that I have just so I can make a beautiful Spam Musubi for you guys. I will use some of this oil from earlier. Yum! So for this Filipino breakfast Spam Musubi, I do want to have either over easy or sunny side up eggs. Just because those are the eggs that are typically served in Filipino breakfasts. Okay, so I want to be careful about not breaking the yolk because I want it to stay intact until I assemble it and then eat it. Ooh, look at my super non-stick pan. I'm definitely not going to break the yolk in this one. Oh, don't break. Yes, easy peasy. I love this pan. It makes cooking so much easier. <gasps> look at that perfect egg. Oh my gosh. And then last thing, we're going to add a couple slices of tomatoes to complete this Filipino breakfast. Perfect. To assemble, I'm going to be using this Spam Musubi mold. You can make it with the Spam can, but this is an accident waiting to happen because guess what? The edges of the Spam can right here, they're kind of sharp. So if you stick your fingers in the wrong way, you might cut yourself. So if you guys just want one of these to make your life a little bit easier and prevent any blood from coming out of your hands, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. Okay, and of course a Spam Musubi would not be complete without nori. For this Filipino breakfast one, I'm actually gonna have a full wrap instead of like the half strip wrap just to make sure that everything stays intact. <laughs> Look at it, a natural premium gift from the ocean. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one of these sheets and then I'm going to split it in half and that should be wide enough to encase everything in the Spam Musubi. So all you really need to do is to fold it and it should crease easily and then just tear it. Oopsies. So each sheet should make you about two Spam Musubis each. Okay, so first you're gonna start with a nori with the ridged part facing up. And that's because this ridged part kind of helps cling onto your ingredients a little bit better. The stack of your Spam Musubi ingredients really doesn't matter, it's up to you. But just keep in mind that the fold of the nori will show up at the top. So if you want the Spam to be on top, then make sure you put it in first. But for this Filipino breakfast one, I'm actually gonna put the rice down first because I'm gonna be squishing an egg in there and I do not want to break the yolk. And then press down firmly. So this is why I want the rice first because if I press on firmly, that yolk is gonna break if I put it in there first. Cool, and then I'll go ahead and, it doesn't matter the order, but I'm gonna put in the tomatoes and then the egg and then the spam and then I'll wrap it up. We're gonna put the egg on top. Fingers crossed that the yolk will not break. Careful. You can also break off pieces of the egg white and then stack it right on top. I don't want to waste any egg, but what you can also do is take the mold and then cut out a rectangle for the egg so that it can fit perfectly in here. All right, and then just top it off with a piece of spam and then you're done. Oh. I'm just gonna press very lightly. I don't want to press too hard because like I said, I don't want to break the yolk. Oh. I'm just gonna snip off the pieces at the end to make it look more perfect. Mm, I'll eat this piece of egg. All right, so tip for you guys, if your nori is not sticking, which it probably will not, just take a piece of rice and then just use it as paste to keep the nori sticking together. The rice ass is an all natural paste. And then press the nori down lightly on the pieces of rice and it should stick together. Yay, there you go. It's done. I want to be very careful. I'm so scared that the yolk is going to break, but this is our Filipino breakfast Spam Musubi. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm going to turn it upside down so that the pressure from the weight of the ingredients of the Musubi will make sure that the nori sticks together better. Ta-da! So for this next one, I'm going to make an American breakfast Spam Musubi. What we're going to do first is we're going to scramble an egg and then add some salt and pepper to taste. And then right on top of the scrambled egg, I'm gonna add a slice of this American yellow cheese. Oh my gosh, this cheese is so good. So if you don't have these, you can use any other type of processed cheese. So I'm gonna split it in half like this. 
since I want it to fit in the Spam Musubi mold. And this just lay it on top. And then fold the egg over. So, oh my gosh, so the cheese is spilling out. Do your best to keep the cheese inside the egg. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little bit messy. Mm. So the reason why I didn't just mix in some shredded cheese in the egg is because I do want some gooey cheese to come out of this spam when you're eating it. All right, so that should be good enough. Now just take this off the heat and then put it in a separate plate. Okay, are you guys ready for this craziness? The first thing we're gonna add on this American breakfast spam musubi is a hash brown. So yeah, this hash brown is a little bit bigger compared to the mold that I have, so I'm just gonna stack it right on top of the nori and then I'll add the ingredients right on top. Okay, next I'll put in the spam and then our gooey cheesy egg. I'm actually just gonna add plain rice on here. So we'll add maybe like, I don't know, a fourth of a cup of rice. All right, and then just press it down. It's gonna be kind of just, oh my gosh, so the wrap just barely made it. It's because the hash brown's a little bit wider than the rest of the ingredients, but we made it. There you go. Turn it upside down, and you've got an American breakfast. This one actually looks really good. And it looks like it'll stick together. See? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it's gooey, it's cheesy. It's got the hash brown on top. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this one. So the next one we're gonna make is gonna be the Spam Musu Bay. <laughs> so that's uh, Doug's cousin made up that name. So the bay part is for bacon, avocado, and egg. So it's gonna be another simple thing that you can whip up. You probably already have the ingredients in your fridge. And then we're gonna make another scrambled egg, super simple. And then just season your egg lightly with just a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. Again, not super salty because the Spam's already very salty. And in this one, since there's no cheese and not a lot going on, just do your best to try to form it into a square that will fit the musubi mold. Otherwise, we can always just squish it in there. It's no big deal. All right, perfect. Take that off the flame. Okay, so for the rice in this Spam musubi recipe, I'm gonna be adding the everything but the bagel seasoning. So this, you can actually get from Trader Joe's, but if you don't have it, it's just a blend of, let's see, sesame seeds, sea salt flakes, dried minced garlic, dried minced onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. So if you have a few of these ingredients, just mix it into your rice. It doesn't have to be complete and it'll still taste really good. Okay, so I'm gonna put in one cup of cooked rice and then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of this everything but the bagel seasoning. You could add more of the seasoning, but just taste it first because it can get pretty salty. And then the Spam is also pretty salty along with the bacon. So just keep that in mind. Just mix this well to make sure that the seasoning is fully integrated into the rice. Now we are ready to start assembling. For the bacon, I'm only gonna cook like two slices and then maybe I'll cook another two just for my extra snack later. So I think the easiest way to do this would be just to wrap these two pieces of bacon around the Spam. Okay, and then next we're gonna add some slices of avocado in here. So just cut it lengthwise. And then put in our egg. Oh, I was able to form my egg into a shape that actually fit into this mold. And then finally add your rice. And then press down firmly. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be another fat musubi. Perfect. And then just fold it over. And there you go. This one actually fits really nicely in here. It's not giving me any issues. Okay, now this one, it's kind of like one of those cooked sushi rolls that you can get. It's got like a bunch of sauce and it's not really raw fish, but there's still like masago in here, which is these little egg row things. So let's get started. For this one, I'm just gonna do like half a cup of rice. And then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of masago in here. Ooh, look at it. It's like Nemo. So this one you can get at the local Asian supermarket in the fish section. And then just mix this up until the masago is fully integrated into the rice. Okay, perfect. Now set that aside. Okay, so before we start assembling this, we're actually going to stuff the Spam into this. 
So this is Inari and it's a deep fried tofu pocket that's been seasoned with like rice vinegar and I think a few other things. So this I actually got at the Japanese market. You can just stuff these with rice and other toppings. This could be like its own little musubi. So since my spam doesn't fit comfortably in this Inari, I'm just gonna slice this in half and then tuck it in. Perfect. All right, and then just lay this on top of the nori. And then I'm gonna drizzle some eel sauce on top. So this is sweet, and you've probably tasted this if you've had one of those cooked rolls at like the sushi restaurants. It's that dark brown sauce. If you don't have this, you can also use some oyster sauce. It's gonna taste a little bit different, but it'll still taste pretty good. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the mold on top finally so that I can start pressing in the rice. And then I'm gonna add a couple thin slices of cucumbers. And then add in your masago rice. And then press it down firmly. Ooh, and then if you want a little bit of heat, add some wasabi on top. So you can control the amount of wasabi better. Use your finger and apply thin streaks across the rice. You don't want like a huge glob of wasabi to bite into. Last but not least, I'm gonna add in some furikake. So this was actually in my original Spam Musubi video. I put like a lot of furikake on my rice. So furikake is like a Japanese seasoning that you can add to flavor a whole bunch of stuff. So. We actually have some furikake rice crackers. We, I've added this on like chicken, fish, it's so good. It's optional here if you don't have it at home, but if you don't have it at home, you should probably go grab some. It's really good. And then just spread it on top so they could stick on the rice. And then press it out of there. Again, same thing, use a little bit of rice to dab on the nori so that it can stick together. And ta-da! This is our, uh, I don't know, cooked sushi inari, I guess, just because that's what we use to encase the spam in. Anyway, it's gonna be really, really yummy. Oh, I can smell that eel sauce. Oh, I love that eel sauce. four fun different ways that you can make the Spam Musubi at home. Comment below which one made you drool the most through the screen. If you enjoyed these four Spam Musubi recipes to make at home, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up. And for more recipes, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can see you guys next week. Bye!